So in this video, I'm going to talk you through the importance of knowing how much tax to pay and when you should pay tax. Do you pay it on the immediate profit, the net profit? Is there a net profit, gross profit? Where do you pay tax and how much do you pay? This is uh, what this video is for. So let me share my screen and talk you through it. So this is a genuine setup for my business. When I first started out selling Pokemon cards, I would go to, I wouldn't go to Japan, but I would find Pokemon boxes in Japan and I would buy the, these. These are crazy prices now. I think these are a couple hundred quid. These are five, 600 quid now. Didn't know that at the time. Probably, well, I had no money. I had 312 pounds to get me started and I wanted to buy five cool, interesting looking boxes. So this is what I did. Um, on the right hand side, this is if you're a sole trader. So this is just starting out sole trader this is what i did uh, on the left hand side if i was to buy those boxes right now i would have to do this model uh, the difference is sole trader you pay the profit on uh you pay tax sorry on the gross profit and and i'll talk you through this and with uh if you're vat registered which you'll be forced to do if you earn over it changes it changes but it's 80 something which is seven grand or so a month so you have you are forced to pay this which the difference with this is you pay tax on what you sell so let's say it's 100 pounds i sell something for 100 pounds i have to now pay 20 pounds tax on that 100 pounds whereas before i would only pay the tax on the profit so the difference between these two pause it go back make sure that makes sense if you need to uh, so that same box before I was VAT registered, you don't have a choice. If you, you can be register for VAT, if you want to just get into that habit of doing this, that's fine. Um, but before I would have bought something at 60, sold it for 100, 40 odd pound profit, then paid tax on that 40 pounds. Whereas now, buy it for 60, sell it for 100, I have to pay 20 pound tax. So double, well, it's not, it's double on this occasion. Um, sometimes it's often more. Um, and uh, yeah, you have to you have to pay it on what you sell it for. So there's an easy fix for that, right? If I want to make the same profit, so if I want to make that twenty five pounds per box that of Sky Legends that I bought, if I want to make twenty five pounds, I have to sell it for more. So one hundred five one hundred five would fix that. So I would now, as a VAT registered, which it sounds like, oh, why would you choose this? One, if you own over eighty something as a business whatever it is, 83, Google what the threshold is, it's 7,000 something a month. You have to choose that. There is no there is no way around it. You do three months in a row at that, you have to do this. So that's fine. I probably should have done this in the first place. Just charge people more. As long as you're a good salesperson, you can you can sell stuff for a bit more. But it's, you know, it's, it is a difference. Uh, so I'll leave this as it is. So you can just see the comparison. Uh, and maybe it might be interesting to see what how I grew my business, right? So this is a six week period that I'm going to show you here back in 2019 when I first started, something like that, somewhere around that time. Um, when I first started out, I started with 312 quid and scaled it to two and a half grand within six weeks. I was like, all right, cool, let's go again. Um, so you'll see how I did that. Some learnings that I have here as well is be honest with, well, you have to be honest, but be honest with yourself of, did you give some packs away? I could have sold that for more. I could have sold that for 99 because I gave three, three pound packs away, right? Cool. I could have made an, a bit of extra money there, uh, but I didn't. I gave the packs away. I thought that'd be cool. Somebody came into the street. I pulled a really nice card and somebody was like, bro, that's sick. Can I trade it for this? So I actually lost money on the box because I, I really wanted the card they had and whatever. Uh, this one, I opened six packs. Cool. And this one, I opened one pack. So be honest with that so that the actual numbers are correct. Uh, but you can use either of these, whichever one you want to use. That's fine. Um, to be a limited company, you don't have to be VAT registered. So you can still use this, this maths. Uh, but it's good to get into the habit of this because as you grow and, and if you get to seven grand or so, I'd say over three months, three months in a row, you'll have to switch to this tax model. So you may as well start doing that. You can The worst case scenario, right? You're going to save too much tax. You get a tax bill. You don't need to pay it. Cool. You got free money. Like, that's fine. I would, if I started again, I would start with this model and then just try and make it work better. Uh, so where did we go to after that week? So then we went into week two. Now, we only bought four boxes that week. Uh, we've still got that profit going in here. We've got the net profits coming through each week. We've got the gross profits. We've got everything coming up each week. Um, 
I made an issue when I first started, and I've just realized it on here. I made an issue when I first started that, yes, I was keeping the tax, but then I was tracking the gross profit. And actually, it should have been this. So it should have been down at the bottom here, £102 profit. But I thought I'd made 128 So I was I was tracking it incorrectly at the time. So what, what you need to be doing is uh, doing this. So equals sum of, so brackets, and then it's this one here. 102 uh, and then post that there so yeah so this is the profits here so i was thinking right i got another 122 128 pound all right we'll keep spending we'll keep going um i think it's quite interesting to see the difference here week two i actually if i would have been vat registered would have only made 48 pound profit scaling the business slower right obviously again we can fix this if that had been 105 we'd have made the same profit and whatever, right? So we, I could have just upped the price and then tried to make the same profit that way around, uh, but I didn't need to because I was paying this, uh, doing it this way around. So let's uh, let's keep moving up. So week three, then uh, we're back on. So we've got three weeks of a similar spend, right? So three hundred twenty-five, three two seventy-two, three twenty, three twelve. But what I was trying to do was get sets that people enjoyed, sets that look cool, a bit of difference, and then chuck in like a really cool set. This is like eight hundred quid a box now. I know it might not be that much. I think it went up to 800. I think it's dropped again now. So getting a bit of variety in myself. I could have just got five of the same box on the first week, hope that people liked it and whatever. I like to diversify. I think it's better. Um, but again, 42 pound, uh, no tax, uh, as opposed to 107. Makes a big difference, right? Makes a real big difference. Um, so let's just correct this as we go along. Uh, did, I, did I get that right? No, 47, 6, 5. 45. So that's how much net profit we're on at the minute on this week. Uh, so that's week three. Again, more packs open. Graham traded a £20 card. Oh, that was a trainer, man. That was a really nice card. Um, so let's go up to week four then. So week four then, I doubled my money. I thought, you know what? I'm spending £700 this week. People are getting really into it. This is a six-week program, but people are getting really into it. I was getting some matchless fighter. I was getting two boxes of remix bow. I was getting some real cool stuff in here um, and quite enjoying, quite enjoying it, if I'm honest with you, um, and trying to get as many people into the streams as I could. Uh, so, oh, go so then we're making a 500 pound profit, whereas before or if in the current model, again, I would up the prices to make the same profit. It just it just makes more sense or make less profit. You know, if you, if you don't, if you're not. If you don't believe in your ability to up the price a little bit and give a bit of an extra value here and there, give extra cards in and stuff like that, then fine. You, lose, you There's going to be less profit if you're paying on this tax uh, bracket. But I think it's quite an interesting way to to see the two. Hopefully, hopefully you're finding that interesting. Uh, right. Let's go to week five. So week five spent another seven hundred pound or eight hundred pound on week five. Um, again, quite a nice one. Let's uh let's do the maths on this one. Uh Q22, what is it? 16. So we made 600 pounds profit that week again. So back to back weeks of over 500 quid, uh, which is quite nice. Again, what I've done here is I've put what it is per box. So it's just what the net profit is divided by however many boxes I bought. Previously, I was just putting it on twice, but I thought actually this is a better way of doing it. It looks like less, but I've I've spent more. Um, so that's a better way of doing it. Again, you can see the comparisons of what you'd make the like now if I was VAT registered to there. And again, you can just up the thing, right? Um, so that's fine. Week six is the last week. Let's see what we took on week six. I spent 1200 and took two grand profit. <laughs> nice. We like that. We like a bit of that. Um, and then the net profit is there as well. So what how did it how would it look different this is what i wanted to show you from the beginning how would it look different i started with 312 pound as a sole trader this is the maths that i had i'd spent over three and a half grand from 300 in the six week period i brought in 6400 pounds a gross profit so that means 20 percent of the income is this uh 20 percent of the income sorry not 20 percent of the income gross profit is the income minus the outgoings Minus the tax off of that two seven, ended up with twenty one hundred and seventy pounds uh, profit, which I can then go into next week and spend. Nice. If I'm selling out, this is if I'm selling out every week. Nice and easy. 
Um, if I was going to do it with VAT registry, I would have upped my selling price to get the same level of profit um, or struggled not to sell it because people didn't want to buy it at that price, whatever it might have been. I, I would have upped the price easily and taken the same profit, but paid the tax, I would have paid more tax. So what it is, is started at 312 outgoings were exactly the same the income was the same i would have upped it but if i hadn't have done and paid this way of vat then it would have been that tax would have been 1200 instead of five and net profit would have been 14 instead of 21 this makes vat look bad one you don't have a choice when you hit a certain amount Two, get into the habit of doing tax like that because that's how proper like i call proper businesses anything over 80 grand a year like a, a a solid business um or a vat paying business would have to pay anyway so it's always good to think like that and if then i got to this end of the six weeks and that to pay the tax of only 500 and thing 543 uh i would have had some of that take that i'd have had 737 pound extra to play with so and that would make me up to 21 anyway so what I would suggest is get a business, get a bank account that is for the business, split it. So you have so you have your own a, 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 a business bank account, make a second account. So you have the income. So all the money comes in here and then a tax account. So you can chuck all the tax into a separate account and just forget about it. If when you have to take, pay your tax bills and stuff, there's too much in that account. Cool. You've got extra money, right? All right. Cool. You're wicked. Um, other than that make sure you pay your taxes hopefully this was helpful if you need any of the sums and stuff shout but um yeah hopefully it's uh hopefully it's nice and easy thank you